Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti E Classroom. We are going to discuss another question from time and work chapter in this session. See students, this question has been taken from one of the recently taken competitive exams and uh, already I have discussed this question in our regular course as well. And I have posted this question in all our telegram channels, our groups, so that the students feel ease while watching the video. And uh, I hope by this time most of the students have completed this question. Okay. Now, as far as the difficulty level of this question is concerned, I can categorize this one as simple moderate difficulty level question. You can do it very, very easily within the stipulated time provided you have the complete conceptual clarity. All right. Now, let's start the question here. Now, you see efficiency of B is two times more than efficiency of A. See students here, we are doing this alternate concept with the help of efficiency also. Efficiency I have discussed in a very, very clear way in the 10th lesson, I think. The next lesson I have discussed efficiency, but here also I will give you a simple uh, introduction for that one or clue for that how to convert that efficiency that sentence into ratio simple you see efficiency of b is two times more this word is very important students suppose if they give like this a is twice as efficient as b i repeat it a is twice as efficient as b that means a and b's efficiency is obviously 2 is to 1. Okay. The very meaning of that one. A is twice as efficient as B. Or A is thrice as efficient as B. That means A is to B means 3 is to 1. Because A is thrice as efficient as B. Suppose the example is this. B is 4 times as efficient as B. That means B is to A. B is 4 times as efficient as B. Got the clarity? Suppose if they give in this way, efficiency of B is 2 times more than that, more than that of A. If they give, like in this, uh, how I have given the examples, if they give B is twice as efficient as A, then the ratio will be B is twice as efficient as A, 2 is to 1. Okay. But here, there is a difference. They have included the word more. When the word more has come, the ratio will be changed. How B is efficiency of B is 2 times more than that of A. That means B is to A becomes 3 is to 1. Okay. B's efficiency is 3 times, sorry, twice more than, more than B's efficiency is 2 times more than that of A. That means 2 times more than. So, 2 times more than means 3 and 1. The difference must be in this way. Now, you got the clarity. Suppose B is twice as efficient as B means 2 is to 1. 2 times more means 3 is to 1. B's efficiency is 4 times more than that of A. So, B is to A, 5 is to 1. Got the clarity? Right. Now, let's start this one. How they have given here simply. Ah, so, efficiency of B is 2 times more than that of A. That means very simply B is to A, just now we have discussed is efficiency is 3 is to 1, as simple as this. Okay. Ah, next, both started the work alternatively starting with B, starting with B, alternatively they are working. Okay. Then and complete the work in total 37 days. That means first day B works followed by second day A. Again B, A, B, A. It goes on like that. After that, if C alone can complete the same work in 15 days, uh, 50 days, then find in how many days A and C together will complete the work is the question. In the previous sessions also, I told you students very, very clearly. If they ask in this way, two persons or three persons, together they can complete the work in how many days means we need two clues for that one. We need two values there. Finally, what are the two values here? I must know total amount of work. 
then it must be divided by A and C's one day's work or efficiency. What the idea? Total amount of work divided by A, C's individual capacity to get the answer. How simple this one. Always you have to do the problem in this way. Make it into two parts. Information and question. This is what exactly they are asking for. Now my task is to find out what is the total amount of work. Of course, imaginary figure which is convenient for us. Then is efficiency and C's. Already I know is efficiency. This is there. If I can find out C's efficiency with the help of the clues and the total amount of work, then the problem is solved simply. All right. Now let's try to find out that one. Use this technique and complete the work in 37 days A and B working alternatively starting with B. In the previous session, I have given you total 37 days. How you can divide this 37 days between B and A working alternatively starting with B. The simple technique since two persons are there, you have to divide it with two. Then here two 18s, two 18s, 36 and one day is remaining. So simply we can say B will work for 18 days just for our purpose. A, 18 days. And who will work on this remaining day? Of course B because B started the work or starts the work. Who starts the work? We have to give that day to that person. All right. So here very clearly B, this is plus one. So B work for 19 days out of this 37 and A worked for 18 days as simple as this as far as days are concerned. Now can't you tell the total amount of work? Very simple here. B worked for 19 days. 19 into with the capacity of 3 units per day efficiency. Now 19 into 3 plus A worked for 18 days with the capacity of 1 unit per day. Now, obviously, this is 57 plus 18, 75. 75. Now, I got this one. Total amount of work. Yes, I got this. I got this. Now, I need to find out C sufficiency. As simple as this one. That can be done very easily, students. How you tell me? Very, very simply, we will use this clue. In 50 days, C can complete 75 units of work. Then in one day, he can complete how much work? As simple as this. In one day, how much work here? Obviously, that is 75 by 50. Or 28, 25, 3 times, 25, 2 times, or 1.5, whatever it may be. 3 by 2 means 1.5. Now, everything is clear, students. What are the uh, clues we need? What are the values we need? We found it. In. How simple this one. Isn't it easy to solve the questions in this way? Any question and every question can be done very, very easily. All right. Now, you see clearly now is efficiency is one unit per day and the C's efficiency is 1.5 total 2.5. Okay. Now, the total amount, uh, how much time would it be taking for A and C? That is 75 divided by 1.5 plus 1. It is 2.5. Just simplify this one. Just take out this point and keep the zero here this is three times and zero my answer is 30 days that's it 30 days means which option here option number a is the right one isn't it simple students always you have to do the questions in this way hope this is clear for all of you always do the questions in this way make the problem into two parts go for question then go for the information part you can solve any question thank you so much students and i request all of you to share this video with uh, all your circles so that many other students may also be benefited. And if, it, if anybody wants to join our regular courses, please uh, uh, visit our website, download our app or even directly you can call our student counselors so that they can explain you in a detailed way. Thank you so much.